Yep. Okay, so like before we start everything, I just want to tell, tell, tell you guys something about like what is Turkey and where does this language came from. Um, mm -hmm. There is um, language families in all around the world, but Turkish in the Ural and Altai one. And oh. Ural have Hungarian, Finnish, and Estonian, which are like similar um, languages. Mm -hmm. And Altai is Turkish and Japanese and Korean. I know Turkish and Japanese and like Korean, they, they all have like different alphabets and like stuff, but you know, they're like related actually. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to start with um, the basic stuff with the alphabet, which is in Turkish called alphabet. And before we had the Latin, Latin letters, we had we actually been using Arabic letters until first of November 1928. Atatürk made the letter revolution, and now we use Latin letters. So just like normal alphabets, it starts with like A B C. But I'm just gonna pronounce it for you, so you can like, you know, how to spell it and how to pronounce it. So. And I have some okay. words here. Um, so let's start with A. Ah. Araba. Can you pronounce it for me? Okay. Oh, uh, Araba. Yeah, Araba. Okay. And it means car. And then we have Bebek. Can you give it Bebek. a try? Is that right? Can you see it again? Bebek. Yeah, but a little bit like slower on the vowels, like Bebek. How do you say the last letter? How do I what? How do you say the last letter? It's k. Okay. Um, Bebek. Yeah, okay, that was pretty good. And then we have jump. Jump. Yeah, that was good. It's like jump, but without the P. And then we have chilek. Chilek. Yeah, close. <laughs> okay. And Dennis. Dennis. Yeah, but like, again, a little bit slower on the vowels. Dennis. Oh. They should be softer, right? Yeah. Okay. Dennis. Yeah. No, I don't know. Okay. Dennis. Yeah. And then we get to the E. It's Elma. Elma. Mm, no, not like that. No. Elma. So here, E is kind of like a wider with your mouth, like Elma. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Elma. No, it's not working. No, it's like open your mouth a little bit so you like that. Like, Elma. Elma. No, I can't do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Elma. Is that yeah, working? getting closer, yeah. Elma. Yeah, you will get better. Elma. And then we have Fe. Fare. Fare. No. Fare. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The problem is um, when I speak in Arabic, or mm -hmm. I don't know, I tend to like uh, speak. It's it's sort of like heavy Arabic, mm -hmm. so I tend to like. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Hi, Leanne. Hi. Hello. Hello, Leanne. Hello. Hi. We were just doing a recap. Would you like to join us? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we're at the fair right now. So the verb means mouse. And how you pronounce it? Pare. Oh, that's the same in Arabic. Yeah, can you pronounce it for me? Pare. Yeah, actually, you're like, on the first try, it was really good. Okay. Then we have ge. And how we pronounce the word is Jimmy. Jimmy, yeah. No, a little bit like yeah, not like yeah. Oh. 
Isn't the jet is a C? No, it's no, it's not C. It's J, yeah, like G, kind of. But but without um, making it, we have to make it like a little bit harder. Like J, yeah, J yeah, me. Game train once more. Oh, oh. she's gone. Oh, she's back. I think she's on mute. Yeah, we can hear you. You're on mute. Oh, that that's better, right? Okay. Um, Jemmy? Yeah. No, it has to be like, yeah. Not like, yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Leanne, where are you from? Hello. Saudi Arabia. Do you know how it, um, in Egypt they pronounce the harf al Yeah. Oh, hey, g. It's like kind of g. G. Oh, g. Tamam. Yeah. yeah. Gimme. Is that right? No. Yeah. Gimme. Gimme. Gimme. Gimme. Okay. Yeah. Nora, would you like to give it a try? Yes. Um, gimme. Yeah, gimme. And that means a ship. Then we have yumushakke, which is um, uh, something like different. And I don't think any of the languages has that letter. And we there is no word starting with yumushakke. It's just to make other letters a little bit softer. So we'll get to it later with another word. And then we have he, halu. Can you guys pronounce it for me? Halle. Halle. Yeah, that was good. Nora. Nora, you're on mute. Like I was the one who said it. Oh, you like, the one? I thought it was Hala. Oh no, like. No, it was Nora. <laughs> oh, sorry. So can you do it? Oh me? Oh. Uh, yeah. Holly, no. No. Holly, Holly, no. Yeah, a little harder on the end. At the end. Holly, no, no, no. I can't Hale. do this. <laughs> okay, let me just let me try it for Hale. you. Holly, Holly, Holly. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Okay. Hale. Okay, then we have U, which is the capital U, and we have Lower case for U too. And both of them are the same. And the word is Urmak. Can you guys try it for me? Urmak. Urmak? No, the la last one is like K Urmak. Yeah, yeah, Ur Urmak. Yeah. Urmak. Yeah. Hello? God, okay. Urmak. No. I can't. Okay. Ur mak. Yeah, you have to get like is a little bit harder. Ur mak. Ur mak. Yeah, no. that's acceptable, I guess. Okay, you wanna try again? Uh Ur mak. When you're doing the mm, like u uh, and e, you have to have your mouth like a little bit wider, so like ur mak. Ur mak. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, then let's try it until you get it right, okay? Please, Ur no. <laughs> Ur mak. Ur mak. No. no. Ur mak. Ur mak. Yeah, that's good. But you just have to like, a little bit faster, I guess. I don't know. Ur mak. Yeah, Ur mak. Okay, I'm moving on. Okay. Then we have E, which is the first letter of my name, and the word is Inje. Inje. Um, it's like G. In G. A little bit like not like G, like the one in English, like J, like J, like that. Inje. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Inje. Okay, hello, it's your turn. Inje. No. Um, a little bit. Like, I know you guys like G is like similar in Arabic, I guess, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
So like in G. I'm confused. Okay. <laughs> in G in Arabic. Yeah. Um. In G. No, the last one is softer. In G. In G. Is it in G? Yeah, it's pretty close. In G. In G. Yeah. It's a name, right? Like I know it's yeah. like what it means. But... It means pearl. Yeah, and it's a name, right? Like yeah, it could be used as a name too, yeah. right? Yeah. It's a name too. And then we have J, which it's not a Turkish letter. We just use it for foreign words. And as you can see, the word is jet, which is like English, I guess, probably, or it might be French. I don't no, know. it's French. It's, yeah. it's not like, yeah, it's French. Yeah, so it's jet. Jet. Yeah, you know it, right? Jet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's not very, like, important since, like, it's a foreign thing. And then we have che. So this one is, like, che. You just have to give, give it up, get it up with, like, a little bit of breath, like, che. So the word is kalem, and it means pencil, so kalem. Kalem. Yeah. I think yeah, most... Like Arabic. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, why don't you try it again? It's like, kalem. Kalem. Yeah, that's better. Hala, why don't you try it? Kalem. No, kalem. No. Kalem. No, not, not lum, like lamb. Lamb, okay. Call lamb. Lamb? No. no. I don't like know. like this is softer on the, this one. Like, eh, kalem. Kalem. You have to like widen your mouth. Like, I don't, I think like you <laughs> confuse that. Like, kalem. I do. Kalem. Kalem. Kalem. Kalem. Yeah, a little bit closer. Once more. Kalem. No, the last one. Kalem. You have to like close your lips. Kalem. Kalem. No, close your lips like kalem. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. One more. Kalem. Kalem. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs> well, like, kalem. Kalem. <laughs> no, it sounds like meh. It's like kalem. I don't I know have how. have problems with pronunciation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Practice again, like more. I think you will do it. It's not that hard. Kalem. And then we have le. The word is lale. And it means to. Lale. Yeah. And yeah, gonna... uh, that's a name too, right? Yeah. I know so all like... the Turkish names. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like lale. Without like eh, you just finish it. Lale. Yeah, that's better. Okay, hala. Lale. A little bit softer at the first part. Lale. lale. No. Lale. La it has a actually like hat kind of thing, so you you write it like you read it like ha um, la le la le a little bit longer la le la le yeah then just like okay. put them together la le okay um, la le yeah you just have to get through the e's. Yeah, okay. that's my problem. Better. Yeah. And then we have masa, which means table. So you say like masa. Masa. Yeah, again, finish it off the end, like masa. That's it. Masa. Um, like, one more. <laughs> masa. masa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masa. Wait, masa. Yeah. Yeah, masa. Yeah. Okay, hala. Masa. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> That's the only thing that worked. <laughs>
Okay, now we have ne, which is the one that you were like doing with the kalem. It's now your turn to do it, okay? So the word is nufus. It means population. I don't think that's Turkish probably because in Turkish you only have like um, only soft vowels or only hard vowels. So if there's both of them together, it's not Turkish. So the word is nufus. Can you try to say nufus? Nufus. No, nufus. No, a little bit um, slower at the first part. Nufus. Nufus. No, second part is not the same. New fus. New fus. Fus, little bit harder. New fus. New fus. Yeah, that was good. New fus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Nora. Okay, it's my turn. Yeah. New fus. New fus. Yeah, yeah, that was good. <laughs> New fus. It's the population. <laughs> It's kind of like a cartoon character name. And then we have okul, which means school, and okul. So this one is the first one, and then okul. Who wants to try it first? Okul. No, it's cool. Cool. Ooh. Why don't you try it first? The oohs. Ooh. Ooh. O cool. O cool. No, not the first one. Like oh. this one. O cool. O cool. No, no. No, not cool. It's cool. Cool. It's like when you're saying cool. Like C O O L. Yeah. Okay. O cool. No. No. Why don't you say cool like normal, like in English? Problem is, if I say it, it would turn out to be like in an American accent. No, but, just say okay. it. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, like that's better, but you just have to get the ooze a little bit harder. Oh, okay. cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, Nora. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, you're good at it. And then we have the, uh, which this one is a hard one. It's has all the dots and yumushak gas. So yumushak gas is here, so just listen to me closely. A red man. So it sounds like yumushak gas is not even here, so like a red man. Okay? It means teacher. A red man. So you give yumushak gas gives a little bit softness, um, softness to the end of the a, uh, so like a red man. Uh, it likes make it longer. Uh, that's man. Okay, so do I try? Okay. Uh, that's man. Yeah, you just have to make a little bit longer. Uh, that's man. Uh, that's man. Yeah, that's good. Hello? Uh, that's man. Yeah, uh, that's man. A little bit softer. <laughs> That's a lot of E's in one word. Okay. Uh, uh, that's man. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Why don't you just say one more with the whole thing? Uh, that's man. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's man means teacher. Then we have pe. The word is para. It just goes para. Okay. Okay, um, uh, do we try it? Yeah, of course. Para. Yeah, para. That's just easy. Para. Just para, yeah. Okay. Like, para. That one is easy. It means money. Then we have re. The word is resim. Resim means painting. It's not picture. It means painting. And how you pronounce it? Resim. Resim. Can you try it, Nora? Resim. Again? Resim. Yeah, resim. Yeah, you're actually like good at it. Resim. Okay. Resim. Yeah, yeah, resim. Okay. <laughs> it means painting, and then we have su, which is water. Su. 
Su. Yeah, that's easy. Color. Su. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's go. Then we have she. The word is shemsia. It means umbrella. Okay, Nora, give it a try. I'm sorry. You can give it a try. Oh, shemsia. It's like okay. Arabic. Like a lot of them are like Arabic. Yeah, yeah, I know. And before, like um, Atatürk made the revolutionary letters, we were using Arabic um, writings, you know. So I think that's why we still have that kind of Arabic um, influence in like Turkish. So I'm just pronouncing again, Shemsiya. Hala. Shemsiya. Yeah, Shemsiya. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have Tahta, Tahta. So this one is like Ke, it's Ta, T. So it means board. Why don't you give it a try, Nora? Tahta. Yeah, Tahta. Okay. Do I try again? Um, yeah, maybe one, one more. Ta ta. Yeah. Okay. Ta ta. Yeah. Ta ta. Hala. Yeah. Ta ta. Just like boom boom. Ta ta. It actually uh, also means wood. And then we have um. It means flower. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why don't you try? Un. Okay, yeah. Un. Yeah. Nora. Yeah. Okay, that's easy. Just, just two letters. And then we have U. Uzum. Uzum means great. Oh, sorry. No, a bit, uzum. A little bit like closer. Uzum. Uzum. Yeah, Uzum. Right. Okay, um, hala. Uzum. Yeah, Uzum. And the next one, Vakit. It means time. So it's Vakit. Nora? Vakit. Vakit. Don't forget the T. Yeah, Vakit. Vakit. Okay, guys, I'm coming in a, like, in a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for that. Um, so, Vakit. Once more again. Vakit. Yeah. Nora, are you gone? Then. I'm um, here. Yeah. You want to try again once more? Vakit. Vakit. Again? Yeah. Vakit. Yeah. Then we have yeah. And the word is ja so it's like saying yes in german ja who wants to give it a try first yeah a little bit longer ja yeah so yumshak makes it makes the vowel before it like longer so ja mm. should i say it? i don't know Okay, go ahead. Hello. Um, yeah. No, I don't know. Yeah. A little bit harder. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then the last one, ze, zengin. Zengin. Nora, why didn't you give it a try? You look so happy. Yeah. Zengin. Yeah. Zengin. E is like little mm -hmm. yin, zengin. Zengin. Yeah. Zengin, yeah. You have to still work on that E, S. Okay, E. Yeah. Okay, so. Great. Yeah. Um, it's okay, go on. Is there any questions about how to pronounce this word? I think we all got that covered, right? Yeah, I just have to have that problem with the E. Uh. I think you will figure it out if you just like, eh, eh, you just like go around uh, like, eh. okay. 
so now I'm just going to show you guys the bubble words and bubble, bubbles, bubble letters. Okay, so it's ses the high flat in Turkish. So ses means sound, and the li affix makes word like with with that that that like with sound. Sesli means like with sound, but actually like there's a word vowels for sesli in English. And harf lag means harf means letter and lar makes it plural. So but hala, you know, it's supposed to be like actually ah, uh, right? It has to be mm. but this one's an exception. Okay? So Nora, there is a rule that you have to get um softer vowels after softer vowels when you're making an affix and you're adding an affix mm. so the softer vowels are the ones with the red one red highlighted okay so a u o u are the hard vowels but e e u u are the soft ones okay can you pronounce them for me okay so like um a E, U, E, O, U, U, U. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, Hala. Um, okay. A, E, yeah. U, E, O, okay. O, o. No, wait. O, O. Yeah. Okay, I think we should fix that to O, H. Okay. Um, O. Uh, is that right? Uh, the, the softer one? This one or this one? Uh. Uh, is that right? Okay, yeah. Uh. Um. You have to make your, like, um, you have to get to this shape with your lips, like, uh, like the circular one. Uh. Uh. Uh. You have to, like, put your tongue a little bit out, or, like, uh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, just a minute. Okay, yeah. And then last two one. Uh, uh. Is that right? Again, maybe. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Yeah. No? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. But, yeah. Okay, and then we have syllable syllables and which means hege lash. So hege means syllable and lash makes it plural. So when you're doing when you're adding an affix, mostly plural affix like la la, it makes words plural. So kalem means who knows what kalem means? Pencil. Yeah, pencil. So kalem la means pencils. So when you're Adding an affix, you have to make sure that which what is the last vowel, which is a e here. So a e is a red one, which means it's a soft. So you have to get the soft one, which is again a. E. But in limon lash, limon means lemon, of course. And the last vowel is o, which is a hard one. So we have to choose the hard one, which is a here. So limon lash. Okay? Can you guys pronounce okay. both the words for me? Kalemlash and limonlash. Um, Kalemlar, limonlar. Yeah. Hala? Um, Kalemlar, limonlar. No, uh, Kalemlash. Okay, you, you were like, you had to do that. Okay, give, give it a one try. Uh, Kalemlar. Um, Kalem. Kalem. Kalem. Mm. No, you like don't put your tongue up to your like your teeth. Just like close your mouth with like your lips inside. Like kalem. Kalem. No, kalem. Yeah, I'm <laughs> like, saying. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, like when you make them, mm, that looks okay. good. Like, kalem. Uh, <laughs> kalem. <laughs> okay, I think you can figure it out. Like kalem. I can say the M. I don't know. M, like mother. It doesn't sound right with the word. Kalem lash. Kalem lash. No. Kalem lash. Kalem lash. 
Wait, what? Is there a specific Hello. way to pronounce the R? No, no, no. I was like doing stuff. Kalem lash. Okay. Kalem. Um. Okay. Lash. Kalem lash. Okay. Um. Limon lar. Yeah, that was okay. good. So now we have the basic phrases. I think Nora knows all of them. All of them. And I like probably know all of them too. So Marhaba means hello. And Salam means hi. So Salam is more informal. And then we have Gunaiden, which means good morning. So can you please like firstly um, pronounce this for me? Marhaba. Hello. Nora. Marhaba. Marhaba. It's Marhaba. Marhaba. Yeah. Okay. Merhaba. Uh, like when you say it fast, like it's Merhaba. Like, Merhaba. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. Merhaba. Okay. So, like, when it, we say it slower, it's Merhaba? Yeah. Merhaba. But when you, actually, you don't say, you don't say anything, anybody like Merhaba. It's like, you know, a um, little bit jokey. You say like, Merhaba. Yeah. Merhaba. Okay. Yeah. Hala. Merhaba. Yeah. Merhaba. And then we have Selam, which means hi. Selam. Selam. Yes, yeah, Selam. Selam. Yeah, Selam. And then we have Günaydın, which means good morning. Günaydın. So let me just. Günaydın. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Günaydın. Like. Okay, go on. Günaydın. Günaydın. Yeah. Hala. Günaydın. Günaydın. So gün means day and aydın means like bright. Aydınlanmak means like getting bright enough. So günaydın means like um have a bright day, like like it's the start of starting of the day, like the sun is rising. So günaydın means like um have a great uh, have a bright day. So İyi günler. It means good day. So E means good and günler means days. But like uh, the lar makes it like have a like all of your day will be like good. So it doesn't like have like two like Monday, Monday and like Thursday should be good for you. It's like have a good whole day. So it's like İyi günler. Okay. İyi günler. Yeah. İyi günler. Hala. İyi günler. İyi günler. Hmm. Okay, so, and then we have iyi akşamlar. Which when you're reading, when you're saying it like normal, you say like iyi akşamlar. You, you don't say like sometimes iyi here, but when you're reading, it's iyi akşamlar. But when you're talking with someone, you say like iyi akşamlar. Okay? İyi akşamlar. Yeah, like that. İyi akşamlar. Yeah. İyi akşamlar. It means good evening. And then we have iyi geceler, which when you say when you're about to go to sleep, not like oh it's night. Let's say good night. Um, Turkish people use iyi geceler just for like when somebody's going to sleep, but iyi akşamlar for like any time at night. It could be like 2 a.m. in the morning. So iyi geceler. İyi geceler. Yeah, iyi geceler. İyi geceler. Yeah, iyi geceler. Like, like so. And then we have hoşçakal and güle güle. And hoşçakal means like, hoş means good to, like hoş. And uh, kal, kalmak is a verb. It means like stay. And so it means like hoşçakal, like stay with um, goodness, like, um, yeah, hoşçakal. So it means like goodbye. And güle güle means, gül means like smiling and also the rose. So gülmek, like smiling, like güle güle, like with the smile, bye bye, güle güle. So if you're living somewhere, you say hoşçakal. And the one who sent, like, let's say I'm going to school, I say to my mom, like hoşçakal. And my mom says to me güle güle, since she's like staying, so kal. I say hoşçakal. And then she said güle güle. Okay. So, get... Nora, it's kind of like güle güle is kind of like take care, and yeah. Hoshika is like bye. Yeah. Okay. 
Can you give it a try, Nora? Hoşça kal and um, güle güle. Hoşça kal, hoşça kal. Mm -hmm. And güle güle. Yeah, hoşça kal and güle güle. Okay, hala. Hoşça kal. No, wait. Hoşça kal. I don't know. Hoş. Hoş. Like, hoş. Um, hoş. No, how do you say that in English? Like hoşça kal. No. Um, let me find a word for it. Let me. Why don't you just find a word like with the S and H? Do you have anything in your mind? Hosh, like hosh, right? Hosh. Yeah, A O S H. Mhm. Mm hosh. And then hosh. what happens at this at the uh, C H? Yeah. So like this is how you write it if you were supposed to write it in English. Hosh. Mhm. Mm cha. Ka. Okay. So, hosh cha ka. Hosh cha ka. Yeah, but you have to do S and H like a little bit, shh, like shh, like so. Hosh kakal. Hosh, no. Hosh chakal. No, try like when you're saying someone like shh, like hosh chakal. Hosh, shh, okay. Hosh yeah. chakal. Yeah, a bit closer. And then this one. Güle güle. Yeah, güle güle. Then we have görüşürüz. Which means see you. We say it after we we are finished talking. Like good should is right. So mm -hmm. good should. Nora. Good should is. Yeah, good should is. It means good. I'll see you. Uh -huh. Oops. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Go um, on. Good should is. Yeah. Good should is. Okay. Then we have teşekkür ederim, which means thank you. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür um, means like being grateful and ederim etmek means this is like um, we'll get to it later but it's actually, it's actually is e and t it's etmek so teşekkür ederim I like I'm grateful for you and that kind of stuff so teşekkür ederim. Okay, do I try? Mm-hmm. Teşekkür ederim. Yeah, teşekkür ederim. Don't forget about the first e. Uh, teşekkür ederim. Okay. Teşekkür ederim. Yeah, like a little bit longer with the first e. Uh, teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, you. you okay, okay. Like, Can you say it again? Okay. okay. Can you say it again? Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür. Teşekkür ederim. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Teşekkür ederim. Okay, hala. Teşekkür ederim. Yeah, teşekkür ederim. And then this one, teşekkürler, which is thanks. And then çok teşekkürler, which means thank you very much or thank you so much. So, okay, you can do both of them. Teşekkürler, çok teşekkürler. Um, teşekkürler, çok teşekkürler. Yeah. Hala. Um, teşekkürler. Çok teşekkürler. Yeah, çok teşekkürler. And then we have sağ ol, which sağ means like being alive, like living. And ol means like olmak, being like happening. So sağ ol means like be alive, be like live, be there for me. You're the reason why I'm grateful. That kind of stuff. So, so, the, so the G is silent, right? Yeah, a little bit like sal. It makes the uh, vowel before it longer. Sal. It's not like so silent. It's longer. Why okay. don't you give it a try? What? Why don't you give it a try? Sal. Sal. Yeah, sal. Sal. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Nora. Sal. So. We couldn't hear you well. Oh, sorry. Um, soul. Yeah, soul. Okay, Hala. Um, hi. My aunt is trying to pronounce the shakira. Um, okay. Is it soul? Yes, yeah, soul. Soul. Okay. And then rija idem, which means you're welcome. 
and Rija Idiram. So this one is used more like the informal conversation. So Rija Idiram. Okay. Okay, so um Rija Idiram. Yeah, Rija Idiram. Hala. Rija Idiram. No. Rija Idiram. Rija Idiram. Yeah, that's good. And then the little bit informal one, be shady. But again, it's uh, you know, usually sometimes people say like, be shady, like not be shady, be shady. Get the difference? Be shady. You don't read R here, okay? Be shady. Yeah. So, do I try? Mm hmm. Be shady. Yeah, be shady. A little bit. About the she, be shady. Okay. Hala. Be shady. Yeah, be shady. And then we have tabi, which means of course. Tabi. Nora? No, tabi. Yeah, tabi. <laughs> Hala. Tabi. Yeah. Then we have. Get me shows soon, which means get well soon. Get me shows. Get me shows soon. Yeah. Hala. Get me shows soon. Get me shows soon. You have to work on those. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Then we have Lutfan. Lutfan. Yeah. Hala. Lutfan. Yeah, it means please. Good fun. And then we have özür dilerim, which means I apologize. It's a verb. So, özür dilerim. Özür dilerim. Yeah. Hala. Özür dilerim. Yeah. Then we have üzgünüm, which means I am sorry. But we mostly use özür dilerim when we're like sorry about something. So, üzgünüm. Yeah. Üzgünüm. Yeah. Isn't as good as like I'm sad? Yeah, yeah. You can say and that. You can use that as good. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I have a question. Yeah. So, when like someone passes away and you say, Uzgunum, right? Yeah, you can like, say. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, you can say üzgünüm, but mostly we use, okay, let me just write it here. So we say başın sağ olsun, which means, okay. So baş means like head, like this kind of head. But in this mm -hmm. word, it means like your, um, let's say my, um, I don't know, like, let's say somebody died, but in, um, you say to it like, I hope your like father or like your grandfather lives along. So we know about Saul, right? So it means like, um, I don't actually know how to um, explain it, but it means like, I hope your head, like the person who is bigger than you will be like, um, better, like keeps living, what kind of, so you will, you won't be like in a bad situation. So I hope your head will be okay. So it means like pushing Saul, okay? Mm -hmm. So why don't you give it a try? Bushin Salsun. Bushin Salsun. Yeah. Hala. Bushin Salsun. Yeah, Bushin Salsun. It means I'm sorry for your loss. And then we have Nasilsunas, which means how are you? Nasilsunas. Nasilsunas. Yeah, Nasilsunas. Hala. Nasilsunas. Nasılsınız? Yeah. Then we have affedersiniz, which means excuse me. Affedersiniz. We say F a little bit longer here. Affedersiniz. Affedersiniz. Yeah, affedersiniz. Hala? Affedersiniz. Yeah. Then we have a uh, dialogue here. So, merhaba, merhaba. Nasılsınız? İyiyim. Siz nasılsınız? Teşekkür ederim. Ben de iyiyim. Which means, hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine too. So you have to say, when someone asks you, you have to say, 
iyiyim. Siz nasılsınız? And then when they and they have to say teşekkür ederim ben de iyiyim. So let's do it with you, Nora. And, okay, Nora, why don't you be the plus and Hala, why don't you be the this one? Okay, so you guys can talk. Merhaba. Merhaba. Nasılsınız? İyiyim. Siz nasılsınız? Teşekkür ederim. Ben de iyiyim. Yeah, that was so good. Like, <laughs> gülü gülü. <laughs> that was fine. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. Okay. So, evet means yes. So, evet. Evet. Yeah, evet. Hala? Evet. Yeah. Then we have hayır, which means no. Hayır. Hayır. Yeah, hayır. Hala? Hayır. Yeah. And then finally we have tamam. Okay, tamam. Tamam. Yeah, tamam. Tamam. Yeah. And then that was it. Is there any questions about this for um phrases? I think that there was fun, right? Then finally we have personal pronouns and which is something very important. You have to learn these pronouns, do you not know, even like have a little sentence in Turkish? So in Turkish there is no he, she, it, it's just all. So let's start from the bottom. So ban means I. So ban. San means you, o means like he, she, it could be everything. So, ben, san, o. Then we have the plural ones, biz, siz, onlar. So, here's a plural affix. So, uh, let's just say, my name is Hala. So, here we use like, I am Hala, like, it's not like that. So, benim adım Hala. So we have to use me and me here to make it mine. So when you're saying something with ben, you use me to make it mine. So e comes just, you know, when you write benim, it, it would look like that. So they put e here to make it look a little bit, you know, make it a little bit less hard to pronounce. So benim adım İrfan. So why don't you just, um, let me just ask, um, tell this one first. So, adın ne means what is your name. So, ad means name. And actually, isim. Isim means name too. But when you add ne to the end of it, it becomes ismin. Because it will look like that if you didn't do it. Ismin. So, to, not, to make it a little bit, Less harder to pronounce, they make it like that. So, adın ne means what is your name? İsmin ne? The game means what's your name. So, what's your name? How do you say that, Nora? Um, adın ne? Yeah. Hala, why don't you um, give it an answer? Yeah. Oh, um, benim adım Nora. Yeah. Hala? Okay. Adın ne? Or ismin ne? Yeah. Benim adım Hala. Yeah. And so this was ban. So we have to use me here. So this is important. And then when you're doing with san, you have to use ne. So senin adın İrfan. Let's say so. So we use ne here. So it will look like that if we didn't use san. We have to use ne again, and then we put e here to make it a little bit less hard to pronounce. So, senin adın İrfan. Okay, Nora, adın ne? You asked her, like, senin adın? Like that, okay? Um, okay, I didn't quite get this one. So, when, um, okay, if I ask, um, okay. So let me just say, why don't you just say like, senin adın Nora, okay? Just pronounce it. Oh, uh, senin adın Nora. Yeah, senin adın Nora. Okay. Hala, why don't you do it? Yeah. Okay, should I try to explain to Nora this thing, I guess? 
Yeah. Yes, so I didn't. Okay. So you see, Nora, uh, S E N, sun, means you. And like, uh, I think adding the I and N, like N for making it your, right? Your? Yeah. So, and you can't just add S E N N. So there's an I. So, sun in. Is that right? So it's easier to pronounce. Okay, that's it. That's uh, totally right. That's just it. Yeah, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I just, I didn't hear, didn't hear what, what he said. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, oh. I know. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So that was San. And then we have O. When we're doing with O, we have to use, again, Ne. But this time, we use, like, we can't use, like, it becomes On, which means, like, ten in Turkish. We use, again, another N, but we put U here to make it less hard. Okay, so onun means his or her, like it's. Okay, onun adı ne? Okay. Nora? Onun adı ne? Yeah, onun adı ne? When you're giving answer to that question, you say onun adı İrfan or something like that. Okay. Hala. Onun adı ne? Yeah. Okay, so I will be back in a minute, okay? Can you guys wait for a second? Okay. Pronunciation's kind of tough, but it's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's not like that. I was. Yeah. No, no, no, it's okay, go on. I, I watched Turkish series. Like, if you want to um, to learn in Turkish, watch Turkish series, and you'll you like you'll <laughs> learn it, like faster ways. Well, that's right. But you know, uh, my grandma was obsessed with Turkish shows, and I don't know if you've heard of this show. It's called Harim Al Sultan. Yes, you know that. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, sometimes yeah. I sit with her. But, oh, I watch them in Turkish. Like, I watch them in Turkish with Arabic subtitles, and sometimes I just watch them uh, live. Oh. I don't know. I just find them too dramatic sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are a lot of, you know, Turkish um, series that are amazing. They're so cool. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. There's this Turkish song I used to listen to, but I don't know if I can find it. It's it's good. It's a good song. What was um, it? It was called Seni Seviyorum, but there were there are lots of other songs. But there's yeah, this probably one even I love you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's probably um, lots of songs about it. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know. If I find it, I'll send it to you. <laughs> okay. So should we continue? So um, we were at bis, which means we. So when we're saying bis, we say adımız. So when you, um, when we describe it like that, so ad is um, name, and then our name, we have to use z because bis. And we use, um, so let's, Take it again. So, ad means name, and adam means my name, and us makes it our. So, our name. Okay? Is it clear? Mm, yes. Okay, then we have adunuz ne, which is ad, again, name, adun, your name, and adunuz, your. Again, it's your name, but it's more formal. So, you tell. You say to your sister, um, you tell to your teacher like, "Adınız ne?" It's like formal, okay? It means "sis" again. So "adları ne?" It means "onların adları ne?" They are names. So "ad" lar plural, and "ı" it makes them like show it here. It's an affix of um, time. I no, not time. It's an affix. So. So that was it. 
Um, do you guys have any questions about it? You just mm -hmm. have to learn the affix that com came after all of the pronouns. So after ban, it came me. Let me just write it like that. After san, it comes ne. After o, comes nothing. Um, so actually, it comes like onun. Yeah. And after this, im, bizim. And after this, sizin, in. After onlar, onların. So, un. Okay. So, that was it for today, I guess. And mm -hmm. this week, we learned lots of new phrases and lots of new words. And we learned, learned personal pronouns. And yeah, so I think that was a good call today. And next week, I think we can start yeah. like learning more um, communication, like dialogues and all that stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. So thank yes. you so much for joining today. Like you're that Hojam. Yeah, like you're Hojam now, not Irfan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool too. And then you're my orange. Okay? Yeah. It means my student. Okay. So thank you. Öğrencilerim. <laughs> okay? I think I'll see you yeah. next week, right? Um, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think I have a question. Okay, Maybe. go on. So, Tamam, when I used to learn Turkish, uh, it was mm -hmm. spelled with an uh like tamam is there a Sometimes, difference um, no people with accents say like tamam but it's not like right the actual word is tamam tamam okay mm -hmm. thank you you know there's lots of uh different people in turkey so it always changes but the actual turkish is like tamam okay mm -hmm. yeah i don't know <laughs> okay then that was it for today I guess hope to see you next time okay mm -hmm. teşekkürler <laughs> güle güle